at the gas station. I'm about to dump an icy all over myself. Shout out to my mom for helping me film. I love you. I love you. <laughs> This video is so exciting today because I am working with Adobe. I am Adobe's biggest fangirl. I used to have videos where I would Photoshop on my channel using Adobe Photoshop, but today we are using Adobe Premiere. This video is really a dream come true because if you told me a few years ago that I would be working with Adobe, I would have I would have lost my mind. I love Adobe. I have used Adobe programs for as long as I can remember. There's a lot of different editing softwares out there, but I have always gravitated towards Adobe. I think the interface is wonderful. I think it's super user-friendly and I just love it. I can't believe I'm making this video. This is so cool. I'm working with Adobe to show you guys that every TikTok trend can be made with Adobe. My main platform is TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, then that's actually pretty interesting because I feel like most people come from TikTok that watch me on here. Today, I wanna show you guys how every single TikTok trend can be made with Premiere Pro. When I'm making TikTok videos, if it's more involved, I'm always editing on Premiere Pro, even simpler videos. You just have way more control over the overall video editing on your laptop with Premiere Pro. Editing on the TikTok app works sometimes, but it definitely is more tedious, you know, using your big thumbs on a tiny screen. And so Premiere Pro is really just the way to go if you're trying to create your perfect video, execute your vision, really see it all come together. Before I show you guys what I'm editing today, I wanna to thank Adobe for sponsoring this video. Wow, I'm feeling like this is one of my old YouTube videos. I used to do this all the time. This is so fun. Oh, I did a video where I edited Taylor Swift's Folklore album and changed the song names. I used to edit all of these different graphics on here. I love Adobe. I really can't believe I'm making this. This is so crazy. Okay, let's get started. There's a ton of different trends on TikTok. They're constantly changing. Adobe is doing four weeks of TikTok trend remakes to reminisce on the trends of 2021. And so I'm going to recreate a trend to celebrate with Adobe. Right now there's this trend where people will go to gas stations, will do things in slow-mo. I've seen it done at gas stations. I've seen it done at Target. I've seen it done, you know, just at a bar. Really it can be in any setting, but I've seen gas stations most often. I went to a gas station with my mother to film this trend. God bless her. God bless her. You know what? She she really puts up with a lot. Yeah, she did watch me pour and I see all over me and I love her. I really love her for helping me out. I wanted to show me getting gas. I wanted to show me eating donuts. I wanted to show me squeegeeing. I had this whole vision of what I wanted to do at the gas station and she helped me film it. First things first, we are going to open a file. So I have all my videos on my iPhone and so I am just going to airdrop them to my laptop and then I'm going to import all of these to Adobe Premiere Pro. And so there are all my clips that my mother my sweet mother took for me. We are going to find the best parts of these clips because things at the beginning, things at the end, where you're starting and finishing filming aren't really the best parts. So I'm going to skim through all of these videos and look and see what I think will be the best moments slowed down. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The way to cut these videos is you go over here to the razor tool, which I just toggle on my keyboard. If you click V, that's the pointer tool that I use to just like, you know, move normally around the screen. And then C gets the razor tool. That's how I edit. I just toggle back and forth between V and C and just cut out the parts that I don't like. Can you hear the washer going? I think it's shaking my camera. I'm gonna wait for it to end. <laughs> hmm, is it gonna end anytime soon? I'm also trying to buy comedy show tickets in 20 minutes. So there's just a lot happening. Washer, Adobe, tickets. I just, okay. So I found all of my favorite parts of all of these little clips and I'm going to go through and I'm going to slow them all down. I think I'm going to slow it down to 50%. So you right click, scroll down, go to speed and duration, do 50% speed and then click enter. I'm not going to worry too much about getting them into the length of the song and like cutting to the beat quite yet. Another reason why it's great to use Adobe to edit TikTok videos is because you can adjust so much more. Let's say your friend is shooting a video of you and you don't really like the specific framing and the cropping and you kind of want to have more interesting camera movement. So on your iPhone, you can crop a video to, you know, get a little bit tighter on the shot if that's what you want, but you can't really do a lot of like zooming or turning and that makes a video more dynamic and more interesting. And so you can do that on Adobe Premiere Pro. So looking at this video, so like the shot, but it's a little bit further away than what I would like and there's too much of the ground. So I think I'm going to crop that a little bit differently, tighter, and then I'm going to go over here to my effect controls and I'm 
going to, let's talk about keyframes. I am a true believer. Once you understand keyframes, you will understand everything. Once the idea of keyframes clicked with me, I understood how to edit so much better. So keyframes basically, I should probably look up a definition to accurately explain them. A keyframe in animation and filmmaking is a drawing or shot that defines the starting and ending points of any smooth transition. So you're saying, I want it to start in this position and I want it to end in this position. And that entire duration of time, it is moving. So that's what I'm doing here is that at the beginning, I'm saying I want it to start here and I want it to end here. And so to make my video a little bit more dynamic and interesting, which you could do holding an iPhone and like moving it around, whatever. But if the person's, they don't like see your creative vision, they might not execute it exactly how you want them to. And so that's what you can do in Adobe is you can really get the vision that you were going for. I want to rotate this a little bit. I want to zoom in a little bit. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do here. And so let's watch it back just so you can see kind of what I did. Amazing, amazing. And so I think I'm going to do this to a lot of clips. I'm going to zoom in and just rotate a little bit just to make it a little bit more fun and interesting. So I'm going to go through and add keyframes to a bunch of these things. Okay, like this one, like this one, I want cropped in way more. I want to see the icy overflowing. So I'm going to zoom in a bunch. I'm going to add keyframes. I thought that I wanted that further away, but I think it looks better close up so you can see it spilling. Rotate it a little bit, make it more interesting. The most important shot of the whole thing is me ruining this sweatshirt. This is a great shot, but there's, again, there's too much ground in this. So I kind of want to crop that differently. So I'm going to crop out that bottom half of the space, get as much of the cup as possible. You would be shocked. No one paid attention to us. No one paid attention. To, like there was one person that kind of paid attention to us when I was squeegeeing on the roof of my mom's car. But in general, no one really batted an eye. Like I spilled icy all over myself. No one saw. It went inside the gas station, stained everywhere, all over my sweatshirt. No one really cared, which is great. I mean, there's one thing that I've learned in life. I haven't learned much, but I've learned one thing and it's that no one is thinking about you as much as you are thinking about you. I have no shame. Okay, I have found my favorite parts of the footage. I've slowed it down, cropped it to what I like. I've rotated, I've zoomed in, I've done all of that. Now I'm going to cut it to the beat of the song. The way you do that is you just kind of naturally with the rhythm, which music isn't my forte, but you can figure it out, right? The way to cut to the beat. Now that I've done that, what I kind of wanted to do, Adobe Premiere Pro has a ton of effects. One day, maybe I'll discover all of them, but there's one effect that I wanted to use that is a glow effect because I want the icy machine to glow a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effects panel and I am going to search glow and I'm going to use this effect called VR glow. And using that, I am going to, I'm going to use it on this clip. And so you see it's shining on the icy machine, but it's also kind of shining on my sweatshirt. I don't really want it to shine on my sweatshirt too much. So I'm going to use a mask, which along with keyframes, once you understand keyframes and masking, Premiere Pro becomes so much more fun once you understand those two things. You're constantly learning about Premiere Pro and can learn anything from YouTube as there are so many tutorials. That's what I do. What I want to do is I want to mask just around the icy machine because I don't really want my sweatshirt to glow. A mask is really just saying, I want this effect only applied to this section of the screen. The section that I drew with these little dots, that's what a mask is saying. So I only want this glow effect to be on the icy machine because I want it to look a little bit more alive. Let's watch the full thing, okay. I'ma hold up trippin' cause I really wanna holla at you Really wanna holla at you, at you. I'ma hold up trippin' cause I really wanna holla at you Really wanna holla at you, at you. I'ma hold up trippin' cause I really wanna holla at you Really wanna holla at you Good. That's exactly what I was going for. Okay, so to export this, we're going to go to File, Export, Media, and then this pops up, and I just want the entire sequence, uh, about 16 seconds long. All of these settings are exactly what I want. I'm going to name this Gas Station TikTok, and then I'm just going to hit Export and wait for it to do its thing. Airdrop it to Sally Dark Griffin, that's me. Then you would just go to TikTok, upload it to TikTok how you would any video, and you have a perfectly executed trend that you could do way better with Adobe Premiere Pro than you could do on the app, adding all of those different features. I think it makes the video look so much better. Little details make the overall thing so much better, so much more entertaining. All of those things play into ultimately getting that like, which that's not what life is about necessarily, but it is nice to get a like when you're putting effort into going to the gas station and pouring 
I see on yourself. So you might as well go the extra mile, make the video look a little bit better using Adobe Premiere Pro. Hope I go viral. We'll see. Who knows? So that's my video for you guys today. I hope you guys learned something. You can use this for future trends that are going to come in 2022. Who knows what the trends are going to be? They're ever changing. And that is my favorite thing about TikTok. There'll probably be another slow-mo trend that you will want to use this on. Chances are there's always some kind of slow-mo trend that's popping up every few months. So when that comes along, get Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you to Adobe. Thank you guys for watching and go watch the videos that I just made using Adobe Premiere Pro on my TikTok at Sally Dar Griffin. I'm also Instagram at Sally Dar Griffin, Letterboxd, Twitter at Sally Dar, Snapchat at Sally Dar Griffey. You can follow me on all of the places. I need to go get more coffee. Also, we need to wash the sweatshirt that I got icy all over. So actually let's do that and let's see if the stain comes out. I'm shocked. Honestly, not as hard to film as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be more embarrassed, but I think I have overcome filming in public and just caring about what people think, which is either a really good thing or a really bad thing. But I just think everyone thinks that I threw up.